Hey everybody, I was going to go live instead of doing a uh, big edited video. We are back from Heidi and I were at Handweavers Guild of America Convergent Market last weekend. So my wheels are all actually kind of in weird parts of the house they aren't normally in. And so I thought since uh, these two were right next to each other and my floors were pretty clean and my family was out of the house, I was like, now's the time, let's do this. So uh this was a video I know people have requested slash uh, wanted to see, and it is the, I guess, head-to-head uh, -head of the new Spinolution Abe, which is the half 3D printed, half do-it-yourself as far as putting it together wheel versus the bullfrog. Um, here, let me flip the little bullfrog's feet down. And I had the, let's say I already did a video when I'm filming this with the uh, Spinolution Abe next to the Echo and the Polywog upstairs. So I'm downstairs where the bullfrog has been living. And I'm currently spinning on the, uh, the Abe. So it was down here too. So anyhow, as you see, uh, face to face, they are very, they're pretty similar actually in height and stature. The uh, bullfrog is a definitely, especially if you look at the base, the bullfrog, like the echo, I think we were talking about in the other video, has got this more squared off either size base, whereas the uh, Abe is kind of this tripod uh, situation. So uh, both I have been spinning on a lot. I've obviously used my bullfrog a lot. I've been spinning on the Abe pretty much exclusively. Um, since I got it just to, uh, you know, break it in and all. And they both are very sturdy. Um, this one, like I said, is just maybe more sturdy because it's squared off and then has the base that comes down in the T-shape. Same on the back here. So we'll, we'll get to the back here in a minute. Uh, this one, as you just saw, the, uh, the bullfrog, like the bees, has the little flip-down foot pedal. Uh, this one also has a foot rest. Sorry, I should have said foot rest, not pedal. The pedals are over here. Um, so here, let me turn this where I can treadle them. So, apologies for weird camera angles momentarily. Oh, let me turn this one around. There we go. So there you got to see up close and personal how those work. The treadles are a bit different. The bullfrog treadles are closer together and more of an up and down motion. Here, I've got that on like the freaky smallest gear I never use. Let me put that up where it treadles more like I'm used to. There you go. Bullfrog is more of an up and down motion and it's what we've always kind of told people were more like quote unquote tradition, our closest thing to a more traditional treadle if you're used to more of an up and down motion. Um, so the bullfrog treadles are closer together and more of an up and down, and it has the little ball bearing in the circle similar to the polywog. So if you like your feet closer together on a foot treadle, and uh, yeah, full disclaimer on this. My bullfrog is my wheel that I have the polywinder on. So if you're like, what's that weird thing on the top? That's the polywinder. Normally, if you just order the bullfrog by itself, it's going to have the traditional, you can see over there, like spinolution wooden arms coming out on the flyer heads. So imagine this with wooden arms versus this uh, black 3D printed polywinder, unless you just want the polywinder. So the... Uh, Lazy Kate on the bullfrog is going to go, and I need to find one of my pegs. I think it's upstairs with another wheel. The Lazy Kate on the bullfrog goes right across the top. It is a Lazy Kate that because it folds, you can, uh, let's see, pop that down there. And like I said, there's usually three pegs. My other one must roll under the sofa. Um, and then it folds at the neck for travelability, so you can fold the bullfrog, you know, it breaks at the neck, and then you have this handle that you can carry it on, um, which is definitely nice for portability. So anyhow, like I said, y'all y'all know the bullfrog. That's the bullfrog. Let's move over to the Abe. Um, and like I said, I would have to look at the official 
stats, but just from looking at them and sitting at both of them, I would say the Orifice height is the same height on pretty much the Bullfrog, the Echo, and the Abe, maybe give or take a tiny bit one way or the other, but you know, I don't think you would notice spinning. They look the same height to me. Biggest difference, let's see if we start at the bottom with the treadles. And uh, let's see. <laughs> Just whoop, 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 because this is the, the big the big one. The treadles on this one are farther apart, more like what you're used to seeing on the bees. The bee treadles, as you know, are further apart in more of a rocking motion. Um, I would say it's most comparable to the treadle on the Echo, which like I said, you saw in the other, the other video, or the Monarch. This actually has a Monarch style. You can see how, like I said, that one's the ball bearings kind of in between the two treadles, whereas this one is like the spoke that comes up and around. And uh, don't let it weird you out that there's this ginormous looking bobbin head. Like I said, I just came from a show and I, this is the biggest option for flyer head available for the uh the abe and it's the 33 so it's a big old bobbin and like i said i had that on just kind of for show um you know because we were at a show but i will probably when i'm done spinning what i'm spinning on this i'll probably switch this down i also have the flyer head option for an eight ounce which um I think is my favorite. The 16 ounce, which is what would go on this, is the most popular size. I think across the board, everybody else's favorite. I really like the eight ounce. So I think I'm gonna switch this back to the eight ounce, even though I've had, uh, you know, I've really enjoyed and haven't had any problems with the uh, with the 16 ounce. And one thing I will say, and like I said, it's <laughs> with the Abe is it is silent. Um, you know, it's a very tightly put together wheel. And like, if I'm spinning this and watching TV or something, like, uh, there's no, no noise. It is like a stealth helicopter. <laughs> so it's a very quiet wheel, but like it's a different treadle as far as I'd say more like the Echo or the, um, the Echo or the Monarch than the, the Poly, uh, what is this thing? Bullfrog, then the Bullfrog. Um, Let's see, pros and cons. I mean, not really pros and cons, but this one, oh yeah, the Lazy Kate, which I have, hold on, sorry, the camera was fussing at me. The Lazy Kate on the Abe is slanted, so it's very similar, whereas this one goes across the top, this one goes down the side. Um, kind of like the, the, Oh, God, I can't think straight today, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of like the bees. Um, but instead of being all the way down like the bees, so it's kind of like a hybrid between the bee and the bullfrog as far as the Lazy Kate goes. One thing I will mention with the Lazy Kate, and if you're wondering, like I so said, there will be a whole other video on this uh, tension fan on the back. I don't have the band on mine because you use the tension fan. This is a new thing they're coming out with that I don't want to be talking out of class. I think it's going to be available on wheels in the future, like not just this one, but for right now, it's just on this one that I know of. But you use either the tension block or the tension wheel. The tension block on this one, I mean, it's basically exactly the same, just on the side. So, I mean, the tension and the gears, let's see, this one's one, two, three, four, four gears. One, two, one, two, three, four. I think five gears, maybe? I might have miscounted. One, two, three. Yeah, looks like the bullfrog might have one more gear, but then that might be changing because I know we're going from the golden whirl to the black diamond whirl. Um, so that might be changing. I don't know. That's the back of them. You can see this one's just kind of a kickstand, whereas that one's more of an angle. Biggest difference, I would say, is, uh, let's see, the Abe is definitely lighter, so if it just physically weighs less. However, the Bullfrog, I would say, is more portable. So it weighs slightly more, slightly, but it is definitely, I would say, more portable just because when you push this in, and I don't want to do this with one hand, you push this in, 
this top half rotates down and then you've got this handle and then the foot rest uh, folds up. So the Abe, I mean, not the Abe, the Bullfrog, if I was going to take it somewhere, I would take the Bullfrog. And so that might be my one thing with the Abe is, and this might just be me because I'm a disaster. Um, <laughs> I did just take the Abe to, uh, to the fiber conference. So I did just, I did just recently travel with it. This one is just, I feel like there's less likelihood of it getting banged up than this one. And I just say that, I literally just say that because this one, and like I said, pretend this is wooden and not 3D printed polywinder. But this one just being, it just seems a little bit more solid to me with the wooden flyer head versus the 3D printed one. So that's my opinion. The 3D printed one is lighter, so it is very lightweight, and I mean, it works fabulously, so I have nothing bad to say about it, but just, I'm kind of a bull in a china shop, so if I was picking one to take with me to travel with, especially with my kids and the dog and whatever, I would probably take this one just because it's got the handle, it kind of half folds, and then it folds up, whereas this one... You, even though this looks like this would be a great handle, I would not, and I've told everybody that's helped me move it, I've been like, do not move it by the Lazy Kate. Because the Lazy Kate, the bolt goes through the Abe, through the Lazy Kate, and kind of through this fan. And as you will learn <laughs> when you put this thing together, um, you know, there's a, a tension, like you're trying to, you, you basically you want this part to be tight, while this part is kind of loose enough that the fan still spins. So there's definitely kind of some futzy tension to get. And once you get it, it's great. But, like, I for personally would not recommend or want somebody carrying this around by the Lazy Kate because I feel like that would make, like, this loose and this too tight. I just feel like it would mess with my settings. So that being said, when you take away the obvious what you think would be a good handle for carrying it around, I was just kind of carrying it like, you know, one hand here and kind of one hand under the bottom, which wasn't a big deal because, like I said, it doesn't weigh that much thanks to the uh, 3D printed head. But, I mean, you just, you want to be mindful of any of the parts that are black. I mean, you want to be mindful of any of any of them because they're spinning wheels. But uh, <laughs> I just, for me personally, I definitely coming in and out of the marketplace was very mindful of not slamming the top of this just to get it knocked out of place or to you know I mean this is just a more breakable material than like wood so I would say if portability is something you were you know like if you see yourself going to lots of um you know like outdoor festivals or traveling around a lot I would say the bullfrog is definitely more like travel friendly but the the Abe is definitely very lightweight, and I wouldn't say not travel friendly. You just would want to uh, treat it with care, I guess, a, a little bit more so than uh, this one. Anyhow, <clears throat> the uh, Abe, like I said, comes with, don't let this giant bobbin freak you out. It, you can get it with pretty much any of the Spinolution size flyer heads, including the 4-ounce, the 8-ounce, 16-ounce. I don't have not memorized them all yet, but pretty much any, you know, you don't have to have this big giant flyer head, which I think would also, if you had a smaller flyer head, I might feel better about toting it around more if I had the smaller flyer head on. Just with that big one, I definitely, I think I would use it more as a studio wheel. As far as spinning, I mean, they both spin equally smooth, equally fun. I mean, I haven't met a Spinolution wheel that I don't like. Biggest difference in spinning them is just feet are closer together here, and it's more of an up and down. Feet are further apart here, and it's more of a side to side. So, I mean, for me personally, I like them both, and um, the Abe, of course, is unfinished because I haven't decided what I'm doing to it yet, and it doesn't typically go places, so it's still, it comes unfinished, and you do have to put it together more. The wheel, like this part that with all the bolts that you would be scared to do yourself, that comes all put together. So it's pretty much a matter of putting the base together, and then the hardest part is just getting 
this flyer head kind of balanced where it's far enough this way, far enough that way, you know, just where all the parts are the way they need to be. But I mean, that's not, they've got a good user's guide. That's not necessarily like painfully hard either. We all are just spoiled with the rest of them where you just take them out of the box and like screw one screw together and then you're like, yeah, it's a spinning wheel. So anyhow, that's it. I'm sure I will have, um, like I said, now that we've gotten past convergence, I will have more of a chance to get my uh, kind of how to put it together videos and blog done for people with the aid because we kind of launched it and then I ran off to convergence and a family vacation with my family. So I'm back. And anyhow, as you can see, they are, there's Jolene asleep back there. I mean, side by side, they are very similar size, footprint, and appearance of spinning wheel. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. Have a good one.